so for democrats to come to the legislature they don't come here to reduce the benefit level for workers and workers compensation they don't come here to repeal collective bargaining so that governmental workers will probably be forced to take a reduction in the standard of living uh, they don't come here to repeal the prevailing wage so the people involved in the construction industry will take a reduction in the standard of living if you stand for election as a Democrat, uh, as a Democrat, you will say to your voters that you're greatly interested in working people, you're greatly interested in the middle class. And you're not interested in working against the interest of workers and you're working to lower the standard of living. If we're going to have a balanced budget through cuts and restructuring, Let's just do that. We don't even need to change the system if we're going to do that. If we're going to put in a big tax hike, which is what uh, Democratic leaders have indicated they think should happen, they've publicly said that, both, both houses have said that, that's where we really need st some structural change. Because if we just do that without the structural change connected to it, I know what empl employers have told me. They said, many of them said, boy, we're not going to stick around for that. Just like GE said that to Connecticut. And it's going to be almost impossible for me to sell uh, job creators from out of state and out of the nation to come to Illinois if we do that. So they've got to be somehow pretty, maybe they're not exactly simultaneous, but they're pretty closely linked. So we don't have the message being, in Illinois, what we do to cover our problems is raise taxes alone. Because that, won't, that will not solve the problem. So let's begin with this. Governor Rauner made the decision to hold hostage the Illinois budget making in order to achieve changes in workers' compensation, collective bargaining, prevailing wage. I did not talk in terms of holding hostage the budget making process. He did. And what he did was to hold hostage. Illinoisans that are dependent upon state funding for programs such as autism, breast cancer screenings, child abuse prevention, and victims of sexual assault. Those people dependent upon state funding for those services were the ones that were held hostage and became the victims of all of this. Well, I'll say two things. First of all, I am so frustrated that this has taken so long. This should not. This should not have taken this long. People are hurt by the lack of a budget. People are hurt by the lack of a balanced budget. And we should, this is unconscionable. We should get this done. We should have had it done almost two years ago, certainly 18 months ago. And certainly in private, many members of the General Assembly have agreed we should have structural change. Why it's taken so long to actually get this to negotiations and a vote, it's just extraordinarily frustrating to me. I'm just, it's just I'm beside myself. Look, if everybody's reasonable, the solution can come from a lot of different places. It could be Durkin and I, it could be Cullerton and I, it could be I and Ladonio, it could be Durkin and Cullerton, it could be any one of us in Rauner, right? Uh, if everybody's being reasonable. There has been, up until recently, a lack of, of doing real compromise and real structural change. The good news is, and this is the reason I'm optimistic, we finally seem to have broken through in the last month, and, 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 and the Democratic leaders, and I applaud them for this, are starting to work on real structural change and, and this is a good thing.